I have music on in the background. I'll probably get in Facebook jail. I hope you can't hear it. But, hello! Happy Monday! It is Monday Makeup with Missy, and I hope you guys found this very helpful. So when you pop on, say hello. Hi, Lexi! Um, thank you so much for popping on, everyone, and I appreciate it. Hi, Ashley and Kira and Sarah. Hey, Chrissy. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. I hope you guys have had a good Monday. And we are going to do some cream eyeshadows tonight. Um, I'm excited about that because I haven't done really a lot of uh, different colors or cream eyeshadows for a while. So that is what we are going to do. If you don't mind, hi, Amy. Hi, Brenda. Um, to share the love. Just click the share button down in the bottom and I would be greatly appreciated. Um, hey, Gay. I appreciate all the shares, all the support, and that way we can help reach other women all over the United States, all over the world, through social media, and we can help them to feel more beautiful and confident in their own skin. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Connie. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Alicia. Tonight, I am going to use some BB cream, and I'm going to use a green look splurge per a uh, request from a VIP. So we have Charming that we are going to use, we have Assertive, and we have Amused. So we are going to do this. I do not know what it's going to turn out to look like, but hey, we're going to go with it, and we're going to see what we got. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Bricklin. Thank you, uh, Gay, for sharing. Hi, Ruth Ann. Hi, Asriel. Hey, Sam. Okay, so we are going to start with some BB cream, but first we are going to do our rose water. This rose water, if you do not have it, you need it in your life. It's amazing. Spritz it all over your face. And then we are going to grab our um, Touch Glorious Face and Eye Primer. Hi, Katrina. Hey, Tracy. And this is going to help your makeup go on very smooth and flawless and stay all day without settling in the creases and the pores. And you just put a little bit on the tip of your finger. Hi, Beth. Thank you, Tara, for sharing. I hope you are feeling better, girlfriend. I haven't got to check up in, on you since I've been back. So, hey, Lindsay. Hey Kimberly, hello everyone. Okay, I'm just mix that in and we are just going to rub that in. It's still hard for me to get used to this little nose ring over here and not try to rake my hands down my nose because that's what I usually do. <laughs> hello Mitzi, hello Andrea and Kathy and Carol. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you so much for all your shares and all your love. It means more than, to me than what you know. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi Crystal. Hey Beth. Alrighty, so tonight I'm going to use some BB cream. Let me grab, I'm still going to use my liquid foundation brush. Hi Sam Lee, thank you so much for sharing and I'm so happy to have you a part of my team girlfriend. Hi Kelly. Um, so we are going to uh, use the liquid foundation brush and I'm using Honey Collar of BB cream. Hi Sherry. I know, Crystal, I know. Everybody is so busy and it's so hard to catch our friends on live sometimes and that just happens, but that's okay. Hi, Cindy. Okay, so I took four drops just like I would the liquid foundation. It does not have as much coverage as the liquid foundation. It is a lighter coverage. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to try to get some, two drops of concealer from, this is taffeta so we are going to use that as extra coverage with our BB cream and we're just going to dab that all over just like we do the um, liquid foundation so that way we can disperse it all over our face and it'll be easier to blend out hey guys thanks for joining I'm so glad to see all my people on here I feel like I have like been so out of the loop since I've been vacation come back for a couple weeks and then go to convention and life is just crazy and I don't know if you all feel the same way I do or not, but I don't know where summer went, and I want it back, and I'm not ready for my baby to go to fourth grade. So we're just blending this BB cream in with, uh, this has the concealer mixed in with it, so you're still going to get a pretty nice coverage since you mix concealer. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jen. Hey, Angela and Danielle. Make sure that you still go down on your neck and blend it down. You don't want any lines or crazy streaks on your neck. So make sure you're blending well. Hi, sissy. My sister just topped one. I know she doesn't feel like I do. She probably thinks, 
Oh, school season. Woohoo! Party at the Brown House because, uh, hello, she has three little ones and they're going to go to daycare and kindergarten. Oh my gosh, where does time go? But for some reason this year, I'm having a really hard time. Hi, Joyce. I'm having a really hard time letting Jaden go to fourth grade and I don't know why. It's like more overwhelming this year than it has any other year and I don't get that. Life has been hectic the past few months trying to finish my degree. Oh my goodness, yes. And summer just went droop, in a blink of an eye. I hate it. I, I'm just going to say that I really do. Okay, so we're going to use... Um, <laughs> my sister's doing a happy dance and I'm sitting here crying. So, <laughs> you received your kudos today. You are going to love it, Brenda. You're going to love it. We're going to use... Oops, I didn't know I had the powder thingy in there. We're going to use this what little bit of chiffon powder... I have left and we're going to set this because without the powder over top of the BB cream you're gonna have more of a dewy finish see how it's kind of shiny versus a matte and you know I'm a matte finish and this gives you some more coverage you'll be done on Christmas Eve well that's an awesome thing to look forward to in that <laughs> I hate to say it Alicia but that will be here before we know it too yeah don't even want to think about it don't want to think about it uh-oh, Ruthanne, can you try to go out and come back in? Hey, Amanda. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Lisa. So we are tapping this into our skin instead of buffing it. You can do either one. Completely and totally up to you. But this gives me um, more coverage and a matte finish. So there we have your foundation is done. You got your kudos out of the mail a few minutes ago, and you cannot wait to use it because they are gorgeous colors, and you're going to love it. And we funded um, a thousand more women to go to the retreat. Amazing. You guys, check out my VIP group. You can see how much money we raised that will send those ladies to that retreat. It's awesome. I mean, it's mind-blowing, tear-jerking, heart heartwarming. It's just all those things. I can't talk about it because I'll cry. Hi, Jessica. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm still getting used to it. I'm trying not to get the makeup too close to it, but mm, that's not really working out for me very well. So, okay, now we're going to do some contouring with some bronzer. That is my favorite way because it's so quick and easy. You can use any other product and I can help you if you want to do something else. Um, we can try a different product if that is something that you're interested in. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate that so very much. And I'm going to take the blusher brush and this is Malibu. I'm going to just dab it on top of there and we're going to find our ear and we're going to go straight down in like an angle underneath of your cheekbone. Yep, we're going to go dark and we're going to go bright with contouring until the end. You all know I blend together because they are mineral products. So you want to go dark because when you blend all your look together, it's going to fade that down and you're not going to see that. <laughs> that drastic dark and light color. They're all going to blend nicely and your look's going to just all fade together and look really, really nice. By the way, oh, I just read that. Ooh, is anybody else having problems? Ruthann can't see me or something. She says that it's just saying the video will start in a few minutes. Hey, Marky Walker, I saw pictures of your daughter today. I love all the pictures, but I'm not ready for mine. No problems from Connie, but there is a problem from Joyce. But I think Joyce was having problems earlier. She couldn't hear me on my team video. So, okay. So, go underneath of your jawline and blend it down. This is going to cast a shadow and make you look a little thinner through the jaw area and chin area. Okay, and I'm going to use just the blush that comes out of the, um, hey, Anna. Hey, Jen. Yeah, because I've like been MIA forever, Jen, so it's like hit and miss. So, have I told you lately, I love you, girly. You're so amazing. Amanda, you know not to do that to me, love. <laughs> You're in trouble because I'll start crying. I love you back. I do. I truly do. Hi, Lisa. No problem here. And this is, you got yours today. Oh, Anna, you're going to love it. Okay, this is the blusher, the rose gold blusher out of the uh, Kudos that sold out. And this is um, very lightly pigmented, but it gives you a color, plus it gives you like a luminizer. So I'm just going to not worry about getting too much, and I'm going to go straight in there. And I'm doing it a little bit lighter now because I'm going to do some highlighting under my eyes, and then I'm going to put this like as a luminizer too. So 
a little here, a little there, and it's going to just be perfect. Hello? <laughs> not. I'm not perfect in any ways. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jenny. Is what I call you. You're Jenny. Jennifer on Facebook, but hi, Tiffany. Okay, I'm putting a scarlet concealer on the back of my hand. It's going to warm that up, so it's going to be easier to blend into my skin. And I'm using my blending bud. I did not dampen it, so yay, Ruth Ann's back. Let's use some rose water. And we're going to apply this, and we're going to highlight under the eye in a triangle or upside down triangle. And you're just going to bounce that in. Yes, like I said, it looks a little bright in the beginning. We will blend it all together at the end. Kimberly says hi to Jenny and Anna. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Haley. Yay, you're here. Okay, do the other eye. This will just brighten up your look. It will give you um, a more bright, open, um, it kind of gives you like a natural eye lift. Don't we all love that? I know if you're joining me for the first time and you first hop on and you see the bright and the dark, I say this every time, but we have new viewers all the time. So if you're new, comment that you're new and I'll tell you that I really don't look crazy at the end. It all blends together. So you're going to see like, whoa, what is that lady doing? I've never met anyone with such a heart full of love and compassion. Okay, Brenda, I can't read that one either. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate all those sweet comments, but I will read them when I'm off of here and I don't cry because you all know I cry at the drop of a hat, right? <laughs> a blending bud. It, it, yes, you'll be hooked. You got your kudo. Everybody's getting their kudos. Let's do a kudos dance. Is that a kudos dance? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're going to say it is. Okay, go on your chin, just on the tip of your chin area. And then I always go whoop, right here. Blend, blend, blend is our friend. That's right. But we do that at the end. So you're going to think I look crazy for a long time. Okay, so we're going to take Behold right now. And on this crazy bright areas, we're going to like kind of do a sort of baking method. Just put a lot of that powder on there and you're dusted off later when you blend it out. Why do you dampen it? So the product will smooth, goes on smoother and it doesn't soak up into the blending bud. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Diana. Thank you for joining us. Okay, we're putting on this powder on those highlighted areas, kind of thick. <laughs> and if you're joining me just for the first time, like I say, it gets better. This goes away. Alrighty, so let's concentrate on these brows because um, Anna says that hers doesn't grow as monstrous and as fast like weeds as mine do. So I'm going to take a trimmer to them instead of going to see Justin until she's ready. So we're going to use Prim Eyeliner. Let me get my sharpener because if you do not have this alligator mouth sharpener, it is ours. It is $7.50. You're not going to find a sharpener that's going to sharpen our pencils quite as well as this one. Hi, Mary. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lori and Chastity. Thank you for joining me. So you twist both of them and you're going to get a really nice rounded sharpened point. And I always just tap that down just to make sure. And then we're going to do my eyebrows with prim eyeliner because you all know I'm a creature of habit and this is what I love. Draw a line on the top and you draw a line on the bottom and then you're going to fill it in lightly. Definitely need the sharpener. Mm -hmm. Do you like your sharpener, Anna? Yes, the sharpener is awesome. I'm going to tell you a little trick. I don't know if you all know about this, but when you sharpen um, a soft liner, if you want to sharpen all of your liners at the same time, that's lips and eyes, take them, put them in the freezer for a little bit, let them get hardened, and then take the sharpener to them, and you're going to get a more precise um, uh, sharpening. So it's going to be, you're going to thank me for that. I know that sounds weird, but it is a good tip. How do you purchase? Can someone, let me see if I can pin my website. Bear with me, you'll hear it typing. Hold on. I'm going to pin my website, so if you want to check this out, um, just click on this link, and then you can um, look around. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to, um, to private message me, and I I'd, would absolutely help you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Hi, Brandy. Okay, so we're just going to very lightly 
fill in the eyebrow that you draw a line on the top and a line on the bottom and just fill in very lightly I'm barely touching my eyebrow because I don't want them too Oof. hi Emily hi Sam hi Patricia and Marissa thank you for joining thank you for sharing and thank you for the love if you're watching now just say hello don't be shy if you're watching the replay give me a hashtag replay on here and we will say hello to you but right now I'm live if you see the red live at the top that means I'm live hey hey okay so we go on the bottom and we draw a line now these will probably be a little bit messed up because of the fact that I have some wild wild hairs I sent it to Anna right before I got on here I probably scared her but we don't care we send that crap to each other and we're like look at this mess so hi Jackie hi Phyllis Curry what's up Curry will be on my team page tomorrow night he is going to help me with a dual um, training he is a great um, direct seller he has a, a business that he is rocking so if you want to check Curry out go click Curry Russell and follow him hey Teresa hey April and Vanessa we're taking the um, brush here the eyebrow brush and we are going through our eyebrows and just brushing through and that's going to take the pigment of the pencil liner or whatever you were using and distribute it throughout your eyebrow making it look a little bit more natural and not so harsh now you remember the scarlet concealer that we put on the back of our hand to highlight with we're going to pick up a brush and we are going to dip down in there hey curry share this video okay so we're going to dip down in that and we're going to uh, clean this up so just line right under the brow very very gently just like this and this is going to clean up any of the mistakes it's going to sharpen up the look of your eyebrow hide any stray hairs that you have hanging out there that need to be cleaned up and then you can take a little bit of it and go right on the top and that's going to do the same exact thing it's frozen it's fine on my end does anybody else have any issues we're gonna keep rolling because I know that the replays will always go fine so we just keep rolling with the punches or what's that on the that one movie it says rolling with the homies <laughs> um, I'll be okay okay so we're just cleaning up the brow with the scarlet concealer that was on the back of my hand nope good here awesome thank you Amanda for letting me know because I'm just rolling rolling with the homies okay you all will just be my homies tonight then since I'm rolling with you all right cleaning up the brow on top and bottom and I am still going to use our sexy um, pigment to highlight with under the brow because I'm in love with it and we don't sell the pigments anymore but we are coming out with a new pressed eyeshadow so stay tuned for that September 1st look for it um, I used the cream shadow brush Kimberly to do that because I lost my concealer brush and I've never replaced it can you believe that I need to do it okay so uh, we're gonna tap this in the lid and we're gonna grab our liner shader brush <laughs> I shouldn't sing Amanda I really should not sing it's a bad thing yes it was clueless thank you Sam Lee. I appreciate that because I'm like I, ca I can see it in my head but I couldn't think of the name of it I'm really bad with names of like songs movies and people so I'm good with faces and once I see it I can tell you what happened on it but okay this is sexy I'm sure they will bring out another amazing champagne collar that is pressed and will still be a rock your socks off product so I have full faith in that which I actually get to order as a presenter if you want to be a presenter and you want to get your products early join me and you can order some on the 16th just saying and then here in the tear ducts gonna make your eye pop a little bit you're so welcome Kimberly hey Nikki hi Sam you were in West Virginia this weekend and saw an SUV with a unique application on the rear window with a dot com it was it was night it's a celebrity I was waving through traffic <laughs> Oh, that is so funny oh my gosh I wonder if it was me I wonder that is so funny <laughs> I would have loved to have like seen that like literally because that would be something that I do what <laughs> my brother-in-law said the other day when we left his house that I looked like the president leaving because of my vehicle hey Laura hey Joni 
Thank you guys so much for clicking share. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want to end up with scarlet concealer all over my black shirt. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. We're going to use green cream shadows in Charming, Amused, and Assertive. Okay? I don't know what I'm doing, so we're going to just do this. You were speeding. <laughs> it was not me. Oh man. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Okay, so grab your cream shadow brush, and I am going to use Amused. It's a matte, kind of like a seafoam green, I guess you could say. And I'm going to use this kind of like as my breaking crease color, and then we're just going to go with the flow of that, okay? So you can put this all over your eye, and that's just what we're going to do. Close your eye and put it close to your lash line. Okay, just like that, and we're going to go to the other one. I know I look crazy right now, don't I? But it's okay it gets better with time it all gets better with time I'm gonna quit singing because everything I could make it like a song I seriously could okay so we're gonna leave that like that and we're gonna blend that out blending is our friend so we're gonna grab our new blending brush that's coming out me too Alicia thanks Bernadette for sharing okay so you're gonna take that amused and you're just gonna blend it towards your um, crease and your brow bone I may not have put enough on here let me try again I have some left on the cream shadow brush take it up a little bit higher so that you can blend it where you need it so push that up with your cream shadow brush and then blend and this does not have to go on very neatly if you can't tell I just slapped it on there and we're blending it out because you want it darker on the bottom and I realize when I'm looking in the phone versus looking in this mirror everything looks a lot brighter so it's not as crazy as what you think. I have a video, I don't know if it's still on Facebook because I think Facebook only holds them for so long, but I went through every single one of our brushes and told what they are. So, but I can tell you one-on-one, -on -one, absolutely, if you wanna um, private message me. Yes, Chrissy, look at this thing. And yes, it has cream shadow all over it right now, but it is hashtag life, like seriously. Okay, so there is Amused. Ooh, looking bright right now. We're going to tone this down. We're going to grab um, Assertive. And we're going to use our crease brush because I like the bristles of it whenever I'm applying it. Look, it's dark. But it does not look like that on my eye. It only looks, yes, you do. In your life, you need it. Um, this kind of looks a little bit darker. Yeah, me too, Amanda. So I'm going to just kind of swirl it around with my um, crease brush. And we are going to build up the crease and the outer V with um, this assertive. It's deeper, like you could do like a smoky eye with this. It doesn't look green green. So when I say it's green, don't fret. See how that's looking? Hi Angie. So you just um, go ahead and put that in your crease, on your crease bone, whichever one, depending on if your eye is um, hooded or not. And then you're going to bring that in, brush it in, towards probably about uh, halfway on your eye. Because then you're going to lighten up the inner lid with the um, Charming. It's a light green, um, shimmery color. So you'll love that. When does it come out? I think it's September 1st for all the, most of the new products. Hey Carrie, hey Angie, and then you know I take the darker color right underneath of my lash line and connect the top with the bottom. And this is kind of going to smoke it out, so I'm blending it out as I go. Hi Sarah. What is a hooded eye? I'll give you an example. This one over here is more hooded than this one. It means that you don't have much of a lash that it actually comes down a little bit further and overlaps, if that makes sense. So if you have a hooded eye, you're going to take this one I take up a little bit higher on my brow bone so that you can actually see the colors versus this side. So hopefully that explains it. My ear is, is getting better. It is a lot better than it has been. So thank you for asking me. Hi Angie, hi Debbie. Okay, so we're gonna add the darker assertive green over here in the outer area of your eye. Just go right like in a half um, windshield wiper motion and then come down in a V. 
Like I say, I haven't done this look. I'm just doing it for the first time here with you guys. If it looks crazy, then you can just say it looks crazy and that's okay. It won't hurt my feelings because we all have opinions. I have learned that along the way. Everybody has opinions and they love to share them with you. <laughs> that is so funny. You Sometimes you just got to laugh it off, you know. Hello, Manny. I haven't seen you forever in a day. Hope you are well. Okay, so we have that, and we're going to go a little bit more up here, because when we're going to blend this out, we don't want to lose the collar. And then we're going to go on the bottom lash line. Just connecting the top, and we're going to blend this out here on the bottom to give us kind of like that smoky, smoky green eye look. And you can add as, a, uh, as much as you want or as little and go back and fix it, whatever you want to do. Okay, so we have this and we're going to take that amazing blending brush again and we're going to blend a little bit more. Don't forget to hit the share button. I appreciate it. Okay, so blend, blend, blend. And this is just going to make your look look a little bit softer and flow together naturally versus having a harsh line and a start and a stop that you're actually noticing. So... Okay, just blend very lightly. You don't have to go in with a heavy hand. The further back you hold the brush, the lighter hand you're going to have and the better blending without blending the color away. So just blend very lightly. And you want it to have like a blurring effect. And the further it goes out, it's kind of blurring. Thank you, Rita, for sharing. And Jean and Angie, thank you so, so much. You guys rock. Okay, so now we're going to add the lighter, charming color to the lid. And the charming looks like this, very light green, but it has a shimmer to it. And you all know I love that on the inner, inner lid. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing. So we're going to take our cream shadow brush because it has really stiff bristles and it really gets that on there really well. So you're going to put this in the front part of your look. And see, you had them used on there to begin with, so it's kind of like your transition color, and it's letting it all blend together. And then you just put this shimmer on there, and then you're going to blend just the edge so that everything blends very nicely and comes together great. And you can get three of the cream shadows, just like I use three of them here for this look, for $70, or they're $26 a piece. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Thank you for saying hello, and thank you for sharing, and for the love. It means a lot to me. We are doing a green, kind of smoky cream eyeshadow look tonight. The good thing about our cream shadows, too, is they do not crease. Once they're on there and they're dry, they kind of dry to a powder. So you don't have to worry about creasing throughout your day. And if you want extra um, staying power, we are getting a brand new eye primer. You're going to love it. But right now, the current um, eye primer is 20% off through the 16th, so that's awesome. Yes, Alicia, I have them all, and I want, I love them all. So, yeah, <laughs> this is the first time I've ever watched you. Oh, well, thanks, Nicole, for coming on. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Okay, so you're just going to use the blending brush and blend in that very edge where you are connecting the darker look, and that will just let it flow very, very nicely. Okay, so there is your eyeshadow look with the greens. I'll take selfies because the light really isn't true right here. And now we're going to use another cream shadow with our, actually our brow artistry brush. And this is going to be my liner. Yay! We are using Magnificent. It is a black matte. And we're going to use the, um, the angled end. Hi Barbie, thanks for joining. And we're going to dip down in that Magnificent. And we are going to have a really nice eyeliner that is going to last all day. So I'm going to go right on the lash line, and then I'm going to thicken that line up. I'm not going to do a, a wing, because you guys know that I am not a wing girl. I cannot do them for the life of me, but that's about to change too. Just saying, in a new product that we're getting, um, I'm probably going to learn the wing. I'm going to try it anyways. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we're going to do this eye first so that we can let that one set. And then we'll do the bottom lash line over there. And then just 
go right across the top of your lid and you can darken that up. You can make it thin or you can make it thicker, completely and totally your own look. Make it that way. And then I go right along the bottom lash line very lightly with a very thin line. And if you want to smoke it out, just take your um, cream shadow brush. Here, I'll show you. Crease brush, sorry, not cream shadow. And you're going to just kind of smudge it and that's gonna help your little smoky eye look. Sweet, right? Okay, right along the lash line. Very fine, not too much or too heavy. And then you're going to blend that out with your crease brush and give that smoky look. Love it. Oh, I am not a wing girl. You don't want me to do wings. <laughs> Ask everybody, they've seen it before. It's kind of scary. Oh, thanks, Joyce. So I'm gonna put the lid back on that so that doesn't dry out. If it does get a little bit dry, you can put a little squirt of rose water in it, close it up and let it set for the night or even try um, a little bit of your uplift serum and then mix it together and then keep it in there overnight. Hi, Amy. Okay, so you all know that I am a creature of habit and I use our black pencil liner on the waterline because that to me stays very nicely. It is cry proof. So um, if you're t your eyes are tear tearing out the edges, um, try to use the pencil liner, let it dry, and it has not budged for me. And actually, it's really different and difficult to get off, so I use the shine wipes at night to get this, get this off. Well, Marissa, maybe she can teach me um, some lessons, because I really need it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you this amazing mascara that everybody has been raving about. First and foremost, I have been using our um, Lash Serum. This stuff is $42 and it is thebomb.com, the bomb diggity. Lashtastic is getting ready to happen up in here because I've been using it every night for three weeks. I do have results and I'm going to post them in my VIP group. How old is she, Marissa? I might need to sign her up. <laughs> um, so what you do is you just close your eye and it comes with a little spoolie and the product is on there. You close your eye and you just brush it on the back side and then I just take it up real fast on the fronts. And you do that every night. You can do it of the morning as long as it dries before you put your mascara on. And your lashes are going to get healthier and thicker and longer. So I have seen some amazing um, results from some of my Y sisters and myself. I have stubs, but they're getting there. Oh, she's only 14. Well, we can wait four years. I'll still be here, Lord willing. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is Epic. This is our One Step No Fibers Mascara. It is $24, and the brush is awesome. It um, separates and has like this curling agent to it. I do not know how it does it, but it does. Yes, Chrissy can t attest to that because she uses it and she loves it. So we're going to apply a thin layer of the Epic Mascara, and you can get either just the Epic, just the Serum, just the 3D Mascara, or you can get them in uh, sets of two, or you can get the whole trio. I suggest the trio. That is what's giving me amazing lashes right now, so I share the love and tell you. But I have stubs literally on a normal basis. I'm just telling you, these products are going to be lash changing. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. She's YouTube everything. That's awesome. You do need this. You do. You do. My pinned post is right there at the bottom. It is on back order. And, um, um, but the way that the back order works is if you order now, when it comes back, you will be the first in line to get, um, your product. If you wait until it comes off of back order and then order, you're back at the back of the line for the next shipment. So order it now. I promise you will not be sorry. You will thank me for it. But we are going to do one little coat of just the Epic. This is one step. I am loving my lashes. I just can't believe. I just can't believe it. I'm getting lashes. Like I never, this girl never had lashes. I quit wearing mascara before Unique because you couldn't see it. So um, it was crazy. Speaking of YouTube, you guys, I went and bought me um, a big a big boss computer and printer yesterday. So all of my videos, I'm going to start downloading them or downloading them and uploading them on YouTube. So and my YouTube channel is Miss M I S B O W L E S. So 
check me out there. Okay, here comes the Va Va Voom. This is the 3D mascara, and I always add this because I love it, and I don't care how long it takes me to put it on, but I love it. So it gives me the lashes that I want. So we're going to do gel fibers gel. Here's the gel. And you're just going to apply that to your lashes right over top of the Epic. You don't have to apply a lot. Less is more, and you're going to get the same results, okay? Take your fibers. I always roll them on the back of my hand very gently. And then apply those to about middle ways to the tips of your lashes. And this is going to help with the thick thickness, the volume, and length. Okay, so we're growing, we're growing. Do the other side. I do two coats because I'm just excited that I have lashes now that I want everybody to see them. <laughs> so we do gel fibers gel twice, okay? And I'm just doing it really, really fast with you all tonight because I don't want to bore you, but I just want to show you that if I can have amazing lashes, imagine what yours are going to look like with the trio. Okay, let me grab the um, hair dryer. You see those? That just blows off any um, loose fibers that have not adhered to your lashes and we're going to do that again and it also helps for them to um, be blown up instead of using a curling um, thing for your lashes and that's what I say it's for um, so we're going to do a coat of gel that sets in that one that you just applied and then we're going to do a really quick coat of uh, fibers then we're going to do the hair dryer again. Okay, we're done with the fibers, so you can put the lid on that, and you can set that over to the side. Look at that! Woo! This girl has lashes. I have contacts, too, so that doesn't dry out my contacts. You just got to learn the technique there. <laughs> Okay, so do um, a coat of gel and set those babies in and you have lashes all day long that look amazing. And I'm telling you that pictures or videos do not do these justice. Like if you could see them in person, huge difference, huge. Okay, so we're going to just probably brush some of those fibers that fell off whenever I did the blow dryer and we're good with our eyes. Okay, so now you're going to see these products blend together. If you're new and you're seeing all the bright and the light, it's okay. Take your blending brush or your powder brush right here. Hi, Lori. I, I think I answered that before you asked. So, no, it does not. It never has. So, okay. So, take your blending brush and just brush off that extra powder and blend in your contouring with your highlighting. So, see how that is really harsh? You're blending that and it's blending together because they are nice minerals. All the products are minerally based, good for sensitive skin, and then your look just all blends together very nicely. And I told you I, w I always like to take the kudos that we had, the um, blusher, because it kind of doubles as a um, luminizer. And we're going to take the Behold, and we're just going to uh, give our face a finishing look with it first, the bigger brush, and I just tap that in. It gives me such like a flawless, smooth finish. It's translucent, so anybody can um, use this shade. It's just one shade. Why am I doing makeup this late? Because I share these products with everybody, and a lot of my people work through the day, so when I do videos through the day, they miss them. So this way, they get to see it. I get to do the makeup with them and tell them how and what the products are for. And then I take some selfies so they can see the final look, and then I go and wash it off for bed. But it's my job, and I love it, so I just share. What were your green colors again? I used Amused as the base color, and then I used um, Assertive in the crease and the outer V, and then I used Charming on the inner lid. Smart idea. Well, thank you for joining me. Okay, so we're going to take this, and we're going to use it as our luminizer, and it gives you a little bit of color. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Okay, so just take that and put it on the high cheekbones. See, it's giving that little bit of a glow right there. 
do that to the other side down the bridge of your nose if you want more shimmer than what this does and you want to give yourself a little bit of a more luminescent look hi Deborah hi Shauna hello Brenda and Dawn and Michelle um, this one I don't use this one very much let me see I like benevolent is my favorite powder luminizer powder and it looks like this so you can take either end whichever one you want and you're gonna add that and that's gonna give you a, a brighter more um, prominent luminizer look and then you can blend it in if you wish and take it down your nose I always put it right over my eye arch of my eyebrow and this brush is amazing if you do not have the powder concealer brush you so need this in your life and right here over your cupid's bow hi carolyn thanks for joining thanks for all the shares ladies i appreciate you so very much you have no idea okay let's do lips let's do something pretty and fun okay something that i not don't normally do and something that will go with the green eye look and you don't want to be too bold when you have like a smoky eye look you kind of want to go a little bit neutral on the lips i don't follow those rules most of the time i love a, a much bolder eye and a much bolder lip than what people probably do but it's what you get used to once you like it's personal preference no rules just do what you like yes it is the best brush for sure hi Susie so we're gonna start tonight with peachy this is our liner, uh, lip liner it goes on very very smooth and this is smudge proof so it's awesome we're gonna line our lips moment of silence hi Sarah you can actually fill in your lips and wear just the liner by itself which I do that a lot and I use, I usually can pair them together if I want to do like an ombre look. Okay, to line it up. Okay, so you have peachy on. And now I'm going to take Prodigal um, lip Lipstick. It's kind of like a peachy color. Thank you guys I just got to notice that 26 of you have shared and I appreciate you so so very much hi Sarah okay so you have a peachy lip and what I like to do is go ahead and take the benevolent um, I just had it here um, luminizer that you used on your cheeks and just put your finger in there and go right to the center and give it a little bit of a glow you can use these products anywhere where they all are minerals you can um, use them on your face your eyes your lips whatever you want to do thank you for sharing you guys are awesome oh really yay okay so then we want to set this look for the whole rest of the day even through sweating or heat or a little bit of rain um, just whatever it is your day is going through you want to take our be behold touch uh, setting spray you're gonna shake it up hi Jill and you're going to spray it all over your face it's just a spritz and it has a light clean smell and once you've sprayed it and it dries it doesn't feel sticky or tacky to your face you can't see any little spots on your face from it and the smell goes away Just like that and you're gonna let it dry you can fan it or you can take a blow dryer to it whatever you want to do and this is going to be your final look this is more of a, a bolder smokier eye with your green shadows oh thank you you're so welcome Kathy thank you for asking me hi Tony how are you normally I would have my hair fixed but today I have done nothing but uh, personal development with some videos and online calls and this is what you get <laughs> but hopefully putting on a little bit of makeup has given it a little bit of a look normal type thing <laughs> yay that's awesome thanks guys for keeping up with that but if there's anything that you want to see if you need help with um, color matching or product choices message me and I can help you one-on-one -on -one. I also do want to mention too that um, thank you so much thank you thank you um, I do also want to mention that I have an event that I do every single year and I'm gonna try not to get emotional because it's tough for me thank you Kathy thank you Heather 
Um, September the 16th is um, my eighth annual Rod's Benefit for Miso. And what this is, it's a 5K walk and run. We are going to do it of the evening. We're going to have a glow run with glow powder, glow paints, and all the glow stuff that you can have. We have a DJ. We're going to have raffles. It's going to be just a fun time for a great cause. So if you can come out and share that day with me, mm -hmm. It would mean so very much to me. The support would truly mean more than what you have any clue it would. Um, I have an event on Facebook, so look it up. It's 8th Annual Rod's Benefit for Miso, or message me if you want to know more information. Um, to register, it's also on AppalachianTiming.com. Um, it's $20 up until September 1st, and after that, it is $25. It includes a t-shirt and a race packet. Um, let me think. It is in honor of my father. I lost my daddy. Nine years ago, to mesothelioma. Um, I'm too emotional to do this stuff. <laughs> um, mesothelioma is a um, asbestos causing cancer. So if you've ever been around asbestos, you may not have known that you were because it was in everything, every building, probably everything that you used. It is a fire retardant, and um, it is in a lot of things, and still is being produced this time of year. So. Um, you ingest it, you breathe it in, and it stays dormant in your body for a while, and you don't know that you have it until basically it's too late. Except for with events like mine, all over the, the United States, we have been able to raise money and funds to help them um, be able to find more treatment options and to help other people live a lot longer than what my father had. He got to live three weeks after diagnosis, so... But thank you so much for joining me on this makeup video. And if there's anything that you saw that you like or you have any questions whatsoever, I'm always here 24-7 to ask, answer those and to help you as best as I can. And I would love to um, be your makeup girl. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as I always say, thank God today for the blessings that he has given you, for waking you up, for giving you the breath that you breathe, and the joys that are all around you. I need a fan. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for your love and your support. And I hope to see you back here Thursday at 9 o'clock. Mondays and Thursdays right here on my main wall at 9 o'clock. So thank you so much. And I love you and so does Jesus. Talk to you guys later.